pretty aggravated about how Saturday went. Was it as bad as he said? You know, uh, it, it is aggravating, uh, probably as much as he said. But uh, you know, it, there's going to th be things that you got to work through, and that's on the offense and defensive side. And this just happened to be our our weekend that we had things that we had to work through more than the defense had to. And uh, you know, it is aggravating having you know trying to settle in with new people into the rotation and stuff like that, and uh, getting people to learn the playbook completely and actually be able to see those reps live. And, you know, when you got a bunch of experienced guys that have done it for a while and you still have to go back to the basics with some of these guys, it can be frustrating, but again, it's something that every football program has to go through. Do you think it's just a matter of it was your first scrimmage and there was probably some growing pains to go through that, that might have attributed to some oh, yeah. of the mental mistakes? Oh, yeah, and, uh, you know, just sort of being able to speed up the process, go on longer drives, and actually put everything together instead of, you know, having uh, like four play racks and, and practice, you know, we're going out there and we're actually playing it. This is a live situation where you get refs, where you can get a holding call, you can get offsides, you know, everything put together is sort of like an emotional thing for uh, a bunch of guys. And it's stressful because I've never been in that situation before. So it is, a, it is very, uh, just a lot of factors put together. And uh, it's something that we got to work through and get comfortable with and sort of put everything together to be able to play. For somebody who's been there before, is it something that you just have to work through or is it one of those where you can tell them, hey, here's a little something you could do to, you know, help it come together fast? Oh, there is definitely things that, and you know, I try to, uh, a bunch of the starters, they try to, you know, counsel the younger guys on about how to, how to work through it, how to feel comfortable, like what they should do in different situations. But again, it's something that, uh, you also have to face personally and I know it's something that I went through you know when I first got here and I was getting into the rotation the, the whole speed of the game and being able to make calls knowing what guys were going to do looking at safety rotation all those things were just like clustered in my head and it was really hard to pick one from the other so it's something that they have to work through as well but you have those older guys to help you along the process. Now that you've been here a little while Coach Grant talked about making sure that everybody's motivated making sure that everybody's fired up is that kind of responsibility on your shoulders now? It is and uh, now that I'm uh, you know more of an older guy I'm going in my junior season and uh, Big George and uh, Logan Stenberg and Bunchy you know it's our responsibility not just the coaches to get you know sort of your piss on and uh, you know get out there with a, a, an attitude and a mindset that you're going to go out there and do what you need to do and you're going to you're going to whoop their butt and uh, that's that's mainly on us because uh, coaches can only motivate players so much and players are going to uh, listen and learn a lot more from other players than they are from the coaches. Now the defensive line, they were they were talking quite a bit Saturday. Did uh, did did that serve as a motivation today? Oh, always, always. <laughs> and you know, it, you sort of like seeing these things. Seeing uh, spring ball gets monotonous and gets sort of routine, and you know, you're hitting the same people for four or five weeks, right. and uh, you know it. Just being able to, to hear that sort of fires you up and sort of, sort of makes you want to come back with that mindset. And it picks you up during practice because you want to kick their butt just as bad as they kicked your butt. So uh, now it's just being able to do it constantly. Right. Personally for you, how, how are, are you doing what you expected to do? How, how, is, how would you grade your spring so far? Oh, definitely. So throughout the uh, first uh, couple weeks and into the first scrimmage, first scrimmage I definitely scored a lot higher than I did in any scrimmage last year. And uh, so I felt like I was playing a lot of consistent ball uh, over over this last scrimmage. But, you know, it's not one person that matters. It's, you know, a fifth grade. You got five guys on the line that have to keep up that consistency and keep up that grade because one guy does something wrong and the whole play is blown. Um, but me, myself, I feel like I've done a lot better. Uh, I've honed my craft a little bit more, been more consistent in my set and in my uh, run game. Um, but besides that, uh, like I said, it's a team effort. You got you to do it together. Appreciate it.